Hello, everybody. Welcome to round eight of the Republican primary spinner battle. We're down to the quarterfinals. Only two more rounds after this. Four candidates left. We've got Donald Trump, Tim Scott, Chris Christie, and Francis Suarez. Last time, we unfortunately had to say goodbye to the crowd pleaser, Doug Burgum. Got a lot of great comments down below, but if you don't like the spinner battles, still let me know in the comments. So after this series wraps up, I could easily do a three-way race with the Democrats. I've also gotten suggestions about doing the 2020 Democratic primary, but I can only use up to 20 candidates. There are are more than 20 candidates in that primary. There's also different ways I could do the map. I keep it the same every time for consistency. Some of you might think it's a little bit random. If there's a tie, I go to a spinoff. I've heard instead the winner should be whoever's won more states. And I've also been asked, where's Will Hurd and Perry Johnson? At the time I started this, they were either not declared or not majored candidates on Wikipedia. So I can't add a midstream. So after this, if there's enough feedback in one direction, I'm open to doing those videos. So having said all that, we've got round eight. One of these four is not going to move on. Who's it going to be and who is going to go all the way? It's hard to make any predictions. Let's hope your candidate moves on. And we always start in Alaska. That has three electoral votes. Let's get the first spin going and see who's going to get on first. That's number three. We've got Chris Christie. He's going to take Alaska. That's the very first state. And now we can move it along to Hawaii. This has four electoral votes. And that's a two. Tim Scott, he's on the map. Now we go to the West Coast, Washington, 12 electoral votes. That's number two. We've got Tim Scott going two straight. Next state, Oregon, eight electoral votes. Number three, Chris Christie gets those eight electoral votes. So far, it's all Christie and Scott. But look what's next. It's California. There's a mountain of electoral votes here. Somebody is going to have a huge cushion. Let's spin it. Who's going to get all these electoral votes? Number four, Francis Suarez. He's got California. Next state, Nevada. Six electoral votes. That's number two. We've got Tim Scott getting Nevada. Now we've got Idaho. That has four electoral votes. Number four, it's going to be Suarez taking Idaho. Now we've got Utah. That has six electoral votes. We've got number two. We've got Tim Scott. He's going to take Utah. How about Arizona? 11 electoral votes. That's a decent chunk going to Suarez. Suarez with a strong performance so far. Still waiting on Donald Trump to get on the map. Let's go up to Montana. Four electoral votes. And there's number one, Donald Trump. DT, he is on the map. And now we go to Wyoming. Three electoral votes. Number four, going to Suarez. About Colorado, 10 more electoral votes. Those are going to go to number one. Donald Trump has his second state. Let's go south to New Mexico. Five electoral votes. Number four, Francis Suarez. He's got him. Now we go up to the Dakotas, North Dakota. That's first. Doug Burgum, he's going to be watching from the sidelines this time. Let's see who gets his state. It's Francis Suarez. He's got North Dakota. And how about South Dakota? Who's going to get those three electoral votes? That's number one. That's Donald Trump. He's going to get South Dakota. The next state is Nebraska. At large, two electoral votes up for grabs. And Tim Scott, he snags those. Now we've got Nebraska's first. Another electoral vote. Tim Scott, he wants that. He's going to go two straight. Now we've got Nebraska's second. Another electoral vote. Tim Scott really liking Nebraska here. He's got himself another vote. Now we've got Nebraska's third. Can Tim Scott sweep Nebraska? Looks like he can. No doubt about it, he has Nebraska's third. It's always disappointing to win four in a row and only get five electoral votes out of it. But let's keep it moving into Kansas. Six electoral votes this time. Going to Donald Trump. He's got him. Next state, Oklahoma. Seven more electoral votes. That's number four. That's Francis Suarez. Now, I've got a huge state here. It's Texas. Chris Christie must be laying low. He's kind of falling asleep the last bunch of spins. But these big states are very valuable. Let's see what happens. Let's spin Texas. Whose number is going to come up? It's number two. It's Tim Scott. He's got Texas. Now we go to Minnesota. Somebody's going to snag 10 more electoral votes. It's Tim Scott again. He's got him. And that takes us to Iowa. Six electoral votes. Number three, Chris Christie ends his drought and he takes Iowa. Let's see if he builds on that momentum as we go to Missouri. Ten more votes up for grabs. Going to number three, Chris Christie. Two straight for Christie. Now we've got Arkansas. 
six electoral votes. Number two, Tim Scott. He's got Arkansas. Now we go to Louisiana. Eight electoral votes. Number two, Tim Scott again. So far, it's a two-way race for first between Scott and Suarez, and a two-way race for last between Trump and Christie. Let's continue east and north to Wisconsin. Ten more votes. Coming to number four, Francis Suarez. Now we've got Illinois. A lot of votes here. There's 19 at stake. And this is going to go to number one. That's Donald Trump. He takes Illinois. The next state is Michigan. That is a Rust Belt state with 15 electoral votes, and Donald Trump goes two straight. Trump with momentum now as we go to Indiana. 11 electoral votes. Number one, Donald Trump. Three straight for Trump. Trump may be making a move for the top. Next state, Kentucky. Can Trump go four straight? No, it's going to be number three, Chris Christie. He's going to take Kentucky. Now we've got Tennessee. Another good chunk of votes here. We've got 11. And those are going to go to number three, Chris Christie, again. How about Mississippi? Six electoral votes. Those are going to number three, Chris Christie, again. A lot of mini streaks so far. Let's go next door to Alabama. Nine electoral votes. Number two, Tim Scott. He's going to take Alabama. And the next state is going to be Florida. And these 30 electoral votes are pivotal. Nobody's running away with it just yet. And nobody falling out of it yet. This is also Trump and Suarez's home state. Let's spin it. Let's see what's going to happen. Who's going to get these 30 votes? Number four, Francis Suarez. He's going to take him. And now Suarez is way over 100 electoral votes. Now we go north to Georgia. 16 electoral votes. Who's it going to be? Number three, Chris Christie. He's going to take Georgia. South Carolina's next. Nine votes up for grabs. Number four, Francis Suarez. He's got him. North Carolina, that's the next spin. Who's going to get him? Number one, Donald Trump's going to get him. That takes us over to Ohio. Let's spin it for 17 electoral votes. Number one again, Donald Trump. He takes Ohio. A lot of red here in this part of the Midwest. And Trump over 100 now. The only one not over 100 is Chris Christie. Plenty of time left. Let's go to West Virginia. Four electoral votes. That's not a ton, but they're going to go to Tim Scott. And that takes us up to Maine at large. Two electoral votes here. Number four, Suarez. He's going to take those. Now we've got Maine's first. A lone electoral vote coming to somebody. It's Suarez again. How about Maine second? One last electoral vote up for grabs, and that's going to go to Chris Christie number three. Now we've got New Hampshire. Four electoral votes. That's going to go to number four, Francis Suarez. Let's go next door to Vermont. Only three electoral votes. They might be important. They're going to go to Donald Trump. He's going to take Vermont. Now we've got New York. This is a huge state. 28 votes up for grabs. Chris Christie is in last place. Everybody else over 100. All it takes is one spin to completely change your fortune. Let's do it. Here comes New York. 28 votes coming to number four, Francis Suarez again. Suarez having a pretty good night here. Next state, Massachusetts. 11 more votes. Those are going to go in the Chris Christie column. He's got those. Now we've got Connecticut. Seven more electoral votes. That's going to number two, Tim Scott. He's got him. Let's go to Rhode Island now. Four more electoral votes. That's also going to go to Tim Scott. Now we've got New Jersey, Chris Christie's home state. He's trailing. He would love to see a three here. Let's spin it. Let's see what happens. Can he do it? Of course he can. He does take his home state of New Jersey. This is getting intense as we go to Delaware. Three electoral votes. Going to number two, Tim Scott. How about Maryland now? Ten electoral votes. Who's going to get these? It's number four, Francis Suarez. He is going to get ten more electoral votes. Now we've got Washington, D.C. Three electoral votes. Going to number one, Donald Trump. He's going to take D.C. And now there's two states left, Pennsylvania and Virginia. So Francis Suarez, he is moving on to the next round. Chris Christie is in last place. He's going to have to win one of these two states. It's possible we could have a tie. We'll get a lot of these questions answered after Pennsylvania. Let's do it. 19 votes. Going to number three, Chris Christie. He takes Pennsylvania. 
What a move for Chris Christie. That puts Donald Trump in last place with one spin to go. If this is not a one, Trump will be eliminated. If it is a one, it's going to be Chris Christie taking the walk of shame. Everything on the line right here. Super suspenseful. Who's it going to be? Here's the last spin. It is number three, Chris Christie. He takes Virginia. And round eight is over with Francis Suarez coming in first place at 181. Close second place, Chris Christie with 126. Tim Scott in third, 124. And looks like Donald Trump is in last place with 107. So Trump, the biggest name here, and it's all over. He gets in fourth place, but he's going to have to watch the rest from the bench. And we've got three left, Scott, Christie, and Suarez. Who's going to win it all and who's going to fall short? Round 9 coming up in the future. You won't want to miss it. Let me know in the comments. Did you have a nice time on Round 8? Did you have Suarez winning it and Trump being eliminated? Let me know down below. On your way out, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching and I will see you on the next video.